go into the ditch. Just down to the bottom left-hand side of your picture there is the English bowl in the ditch. And that, of course, is the closest bowl to the jack. This is one of the few times that Rowan Brassey has been got caught with short bowls. Though he's always been handy, he normally has something round the back, but that time he didn't have. Come on, Terry, that's a shot. Well done. That's a good bowl from Tony Alcock. Great nice ball. two. Just a reappraisal of my comment about Tony Orcock holding two. Actually, England hold four. The bowl in the ditch and Tony Orcock's uh, closest bowl, obvious, but England still have the other two red disc bowls just to the right of the two, New just to the left of the two New Zealand bowls. So it's England four shots. That should be academic, of course because way, Bellis should easily beat the, the short bowls, oh, yeah. but uh, psychologically, it's there giving him pressure. Oh, he only just dropped. Only just dropped. Bring him on in. Well, you didn't get the hook. You didn't get the hook. You didn't get the hook. Brian just pointing out to Alcock there why the bowl dropped into the ditch because he didn't get the hook. His previous bowl actually bent a lot more. And so the last running was across the green rather than the straight of it. Now then, is that the shot? Very close. New Zealand could possibly have shot. Certainly those two bowls on the green. The decision will be between those two bowls. The one on the ditch, I don't think, is counting. Bryant, in fact, told Alcock New Zealand had definitely shot. Alcock wasn't so sure. Alcock is running for the ballast bowl. Oh, bad luck. Good try. Good try. Hey, try, Tony. Ellis will be looking now to get another bowl in there. Close proximity. That uh, reaction by Tony Alcock indicates to us that Bellis has got the shot. This match taking on the atmosphere of a one-day cricket match. You can hear the crowd, the enthusiasm, the encouragement. Peter Bellis, final bowl. won't be pleased with that bowl because uh, although it's uh, in fairly close proximity to the to the ditch uh, if all if Alcock happens to hit one he possibly may take them both so uh, that means New Zealand would be four down Bellis I'm sure would have liked that bowl to be uh, well away from the shot bowl
Can all Puck get it this time? Now he gets stopped by a short bow. David Bryant gives one to New Zealand. That's all they seemingly have got. Rassi lays the map and uh, will start the sixth end with New Zealand leading six shots to one. Very important bowl to Tony Alcock and to New Zealand there. Both those had gone. There was a question of around about four shots involved for England. David Bryant about to drive. Blazing. Now the drive. So it will be now a replay of the sixth <laughs> end after five ends in this pairs final between New Zealand and England. It's New Zealand leading by six shots to one. Quarter length in from about a three meter mat from uh, Ram Rassi. A replay of the sixth end. Peter Bellis likes that one even more because that puts a 
Bow, handy position behind the jack. a drive here, a forcing shot. Here's the drive. Brown Brassie's been pouring them on again, so the drive is out from David Bryant. But the jack is alive. Down. <laughs> Let's see how clever Brassy is now with the jack offline and just a meter from the back for the frontage. Oh, he gets stopped by one of his own bowls. <laughs> David Bryan being called on to do more than just draw in this match. He's being asked to use the forcing shot to save. Well, we've seen this uh, situation before with the Skips left virtually to play a game of singles. And on both occasions, Bellis has won the battle.